Nah, I'm in fucking Jaden. FBI? I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Just ignore him and maybe he'll go away. Don't talk to me when I'm in the cyber world, I told you. I'm doing important detective work, ma. Hey, you there. What are you doing? Don't say your name. I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. Retreat back into my digital paradise where I'm safe. Harry, comment. The victim is lying on his back. Seems dead, Harry. No visible signs of violence. No breathing. The corpse, I repeat, has no metabolic function. He a was a fucking Seahawks fan, Harry. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. Open and shut fucking case, Harry. Harry, deploy tactical cleats. Harry, suction gloves. Every deploy like at least a small bit of rope with a fishing hook at the end of it. Uh, really, um, Norman Jordan's getting a little desperate here. The slight incline is very physically exhausting. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Oh, I haven't heard them since uh, Hot Fuss came out. Tire tracks on the side of the boat behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. Yeah, it could also you literally be anybody else's car, but no big fucking deal. <laughs> oh my god. Should have worn my fucking Vibrams. Oh, it's fucking <laughs> making a mockery of the fucking FBI. God damn it, Norman. I'm heading back to the office. You staying? Nah, I'm just going for a fucking swim. No, what do I've you think? Enough. Take the glasses off. You haven't earned them. Really disturbing thing is that he has like a tan line around his eyes. Like the dude went to the beach but kept the glasses on the whole time. What a weirdo. Harry, put on the new episode of Bojack Horseman. Amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. All of the technology of the future. And we use it to emulate bouncing a ball against the wall. Oh, that was fun. Can't wait to get home. I could play that for a couple hours. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll Unlike get Unlike this lady. Well, She's yeah. having some problems. You know how to tie a knot in a necktie. Yeah, I'm not six. I guess. Press you need me to tie your tie for you? This origami killer case. You're like 60 years old. Killers in this country, but Nailed it. No. Oh. Of course not. All I'm asking <laughs> is to make progress <laughs> is... and fast. The press want a perpetrator. And we're gonna have He's to a shadow puppet on a silver platter. Not bad. Yeah, it's not as good as mom does, but hey. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Oh, okay. She just walks straight through the filing cabinet, huh? That's how you do things around here. This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. So, I mean, it's not nice, but it's not that bad. I'd, ra I'd rather be in here than in a cubicle, my dude, be honest. <laughs> oh, shit! Step one, change the office. Isn't that gonna give him like a seizure if somebody walks in from the, the ether? Yeah, who's there? Just rips a hole in reality in front of him. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. Seems like the, the prime suspect might be some kind of train. I swear I Fucking Rita, get out of here with that! I'm on Mars, okay? Ma, you know I can only focus on Mars. I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment? About 10 square mile. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? Blake! I've had just about enough of your shit. 
You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? And what are you caught, huh? Nothing! Absolutely fucking lootly nothing! What, well, you think you can do a better fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses? <laughs> well, let me tell you something, pal. That don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. And your great, your delightful glasses. Your fucking sweet ass, technologically marvelous glasses. There's nobody home. There is now. Yeah, you fancy glasses ever kick sure down a door without either. having due process? Well, it's a religious man. We don't want no devils in our house, God. Yes, we Lord. want the Lord. Oh, I get it. So no crucifixes is bad, and a hundred crucifixes is bad. How am I supposed to know? Like, make up your mind here. Say what you want, but the dude loves a good book. I go out to buy vitamins just once and this happens. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Where do you work, Nathaniel? Do you have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord. So for the I'm just gonna write down humanity. unemployed then. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You can't just start kicking the victim, dude. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. I shall you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! Nah, man. I shot him. I shot him in the head. Yep. Looks like you did. Pressed the wrong button there. Kind of thought you pressed like R1 and then it would. You'd cock the gun or something like that and it would escalate and slowly get calmer. But, uh. No, I just shot him in the head.